Now, it's written by Jane Modrick in collaboration with Doug Robbins. And I just want to talk to you about uh, Doug Robbins for just a second. Uh, Doug Robbins has called Cairns home for over a decade before he was in Mount Isa, where he claims to have uh, formed his uh, uh, no must no fuss approach to life. By junior high school, he knew his heart belonged to the arts, a particular, in particular the theatre. Uh, upon graduating from high school, he studied Bachelor of Arts, majoring in theatre and English at JCU, attending classes, classes with some of the best theatre and performance uh, practitioners in uh, the region today. And there's a lot of them around in this part of the world, that's for sure. His studies propelled him into the uh, art scene uh, of Cairns, where he volunteers his performance skills at Art Disability Services to spread the understanding that theatre is open to everyone. Doug believes that theatre skills should be mandatory because they are useful in all facets of life. I had the gentleman in question online. I was supposed to have him on about a half an hour ago, but we have just had so many people in today. Uh, Doug, welcome to the show, and I do apologise about having you uh, wait for such a long time. So you're fine, Steve. Good morning. Mate, uh, you've got this, uh, there's the, the, the play called Propel, Take a Ride in Someone Else's Wheels. Uh, this is something that's uh, written uh, by you, in, well, in collaboration with uh, you, uh, Jane Modrick, of course, with collaboration with you. Tell us about this play, Propel, and how it uh, pertains to you. Okay, yes, Propel is uh, loosely based uh, on events that have happened in my life, uh, but also about uh, obstacles that um, everyone faces in life, and often there's ways that um, might not be clear how to get through obstacles, yep. but in, if you just keep going uh, and you ask for help if you need it, uh, then anything is possible. Well, the thing, the story behind this play is, which follows the story of a young man with the Duchenne muscular dystrophy in his quest for independence. Elaborate on that, please, because you do have Duchenne, uh, uh, the, 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 the disease, don't you? Uh, yes, I do, and, uh, and really those... Uh, the stories behind it are times in life when people have been uh, nasty to me or times in life when people have really shown that the human spirit is, uh, is strong. Why would people be nasty to you? Oh, well, it's, it's, it's not particularly about that, but it's just about how events... It's just, it's the, is it sort of a, a collaboration of events of uh, what ha happened to you as a young boy when you first was diagnosed with the Duchenne? Um, and uh, uh, the events that led up to today. Uh, yes. Storyboard, if you like, basically, and uh, you with that debilitating disease to share. I thought mean, that's dreadful. Yes, it's loosely based on my life, uh, but in order to uh, keep artistic freedom, uh, it, it goes out of my own life, but um, uh, most things in the story uh, have either happened to me or I've experienced similar things. Mm, mm. Tell us more about the play. Is there, you know, I mean, it's um, it must have been very difficult trying to put this all together. Uh, yes, that has been very difficult. Uh, but with the support of us, uh, of a great team, we've got uh, lots of mixed media in it, uh, audio, uh, visual. We've got um, uh, quite a great um, uh, set design, and uh, it is really sort of a, uh, a modern. Uh, contemporary play, so uh, that really helps tell the story mm -hmm. and makes it a quite a uh, larger than life uh, experience. Well, Tessie, you're a remarkable, a remarkable example of uh, triumphing against the uh, against the odds. Uh, your disease, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which is abbreviated as DMD, is a form of muscular dystrophy affecting around one in three thousand five hundred boys and one in fifty thousand girls, and which results in muscular degeneration and eventual death. As the condition progresses, mus muscle tissue experiences. Uh, um, wasting and is uh, eventually replaced by fat and fibrotic uh, tissue fibrosis. By the age of 10, mobility is restricted and most patients are in a wheelchair dependent by age 12. Due to progressive deterioration of muscle loss, of movement occurs eventually leading to paralysis and the average life expectancy for patients afflicted, afflicted with DMD is around 25. Is uh, That's just... Uh, I've never heard of Duchenne uh, until Operation Rudolph until we did the charity drive. I mean, uh, tell us a bit more about the disease. I mean, I know I've given a, a brief rundown on, to our listeners, but uh, uh, give us your swing on it. 
yes, it's quite interesting um, hearing that explanation uh, just now that he's given Steve. Yeah. My experience with it is slowly, as time progresses, um, uh, lose uh, movement. So you, you, you lose the ability to walk. Yes. Uh, your arms get um, weaker. And it's, uh, it's really a strange experience to, uh, to sort of slowly lose um, lose the ability to do things. Yeah, but, yeah. But in saying that, you know, uh, the relationship uh, that I've experienced uh, with people that, uh, that help me out to uh, achieve everything I've done in life. Uh, Obviously, uh, by, by by being involved in the arts and uh, getting behind it and, and uh, putting the play together like this, you're 26 right now, which uh, you've exceeded the, uh, the expectancy, life expectancy, haven't you? Do you feel that it's uh, by being involved and uh, with the, the positive people around you, the, the carers and the people that have helped you, and uh, in being involved in the arts is, uh, is giving you, uh, I don't know how to say it, but a, a, an extra lease on life? Or do, you, do you think that's contributed to it? Yes, it's, uh, being involved with the arts has really helped me uh, really mark some things. So, you know, if one day you're not feeling particularly well, yep. uh, you can uh, mark that and you know, take over with humour and um, different things like that to really uh, lighten your mood. Yep. I think that's really helped uh, along the way to, to get through when uh, things are tough. So take a ride in someone else's wheels, Propelled is, uh, as I said, it's open on the 31st of uh, January until the 8th of February. Uh, what you're doing, you're putting focus on the, the Duchenne disease, which uh, not a lot of people know about. So you're actually uh, uh, educating people via this play, uh, but obviously you're, uh, you're putting a lot of high points, low points, and a bit of comedy inside there, the funny side of things, and uh, it's, it's a combination of everything, is it? Yes, it is. Uh, we're hopefully the audience will be confronted, uh, but also enlightened uh, to believe um, that in life anything is possible. Yes. Uh, and as long as you give things a go, then uh, your options are limitless. Fantastic. All right, look, we're going to catch up over the next, uh, as, as this plays in, prog in progress, of course, because it runs from the 31st of January to the 8th of February. I want to catch up with you again next week, and we'll have another chat. But, uh, Doug, it's great to catch up with you. The play is on the 31st to the 8th of February at uh, the Centre of Contemporary Arts, 96 Abbott Street in Cairns. And, uh, of course, if anybody wants to make uh, a booking, uh, where do they go, matey? Well, who do they say, uh, talk to? Uh, probably the easiest way to make a booking is um, through the Jute website, jute.com.au. Yes, it's www.jute.com.au. Tickets are 34 to $39, and they're on sale now, aren't they? Uh, yes, that's correct. Or I believe you can uh, also go into uh, the Centre of Contemporary Arts and uh, purchase tickets there as well. Mate, we're looking forward to it. There's a group of us all coming along on the opening night, and of course I've spoken to your mum, Deb. Uh, very brave, very strong lady. Uh, but she says, it's not me that's strong, Steve. It's, uh, it's Doug. And uh, so many of the people that are uh, suffering from this show, uh, they do, they're the ones that give us strength. And uh, I hear here to that. Looking forward to the play. Uh, well done. And I'll, so I'll, uh, I hope to catch up with you on the night and uh, have a bit of a chat and, uh, you know, and uh, talk about the play afterwards. Yeah, no, I look forward to that, Steve. Uh, thank you very much. Good on you, Doug. Doug Robbins uh, with uh, the play Propelled. Uh, go to the website, as I said, www.jute.com.au. .jute, $34 to $39 uh, a ticket. Uh, the opening night on the 31st uh, through to the 8th of February. It should be fabulous to go and have a look at it. And uh, confronting, but... Uh, um, I, just, I just think it's going to be great. I'm looking for, so forward to it. I can't say much more on it until I uh, actually see it. Then we'll do some uh, good reviews on it at the end of it. Doug, have a great week, mate, and we'll chat to you again next Saturday. Thank you very much, Steve. My pleasure. This is 4CA.